Hi, I'm Jeff from Ebb Source for Adventure, and I'm here today to show you how to strap a canoe down to your vehicle. We've got this canoe that somebody deposited on this vehicle for us. That's great. Just as far as the position of the boat on the rack, we want to get the center point of the boat positioned roughly center between the bars. So the screws on the boat, that corresponds to where the yoke is. That's our center point roughly halfway between each bar. That way the canoe is balanced on the rack. Once we've got that there, we're going to put the straps on. At EBS we recommend the nylon webbing cam buckle straps. Very simple to use. You don't have metal hardware that's going to rub against the boat and damage the finish. We're going to walk around to the other side and start this off. strap underneath the bar and throw both ends over with the cam buckle on that end you want, don't want to throw too much over otherwise it's going to go clink against your vehicle again both ends of the strap should go over we don't want to have one strap under and one strap over that's really not effective when we're strapping down the canoe In this particular case, we're strapping outside of the tower on the crossbar, so I do like to give the strap a little extra loop to kind of lock it in position. If the strap was on the inside of the crossbar, I wouldn't bother in that case. Pull it nice and snug. If you're concerned that you put it on the wrong way, you can always give that inner strap a pull if you put it on the wrong way, it's going to pull easy. If you put it on the right way, starting from the back of the cam buckle to the front, that should be fine. Just tying up the excess strap here. Make sure it's not flopping in the wind. I always do like to have a little bit of strap exposed, so if I'm driving in the rain and the strap strap stretches, then I can tighten it up on the fly without loosening everything off. Again, doing the same thing for the rear strap, giving that extra loop up to the cam buckle, going through the back side, through the front, nice and tight. We want to keep the strap tight up to the boat. If I'm strapping further away, then the boat's going to shift back and forth. As you can see with my strap right next to the boat, I'm pulling on the canoe. The canoe's not going anywhere, but the car's rocking around. You've got it tight enough. How much pressure do I have to put on the strap? How do I know it's tight enough? Well, I'm not using all my body weight here. I'm not trying to crush the canoe. Just give it a good pull. If you had the cam buckle facing up, when you're pulling up, you can never get it tight enough. Always have the cam buckle laying against the boat. Take the other end of the strap up to it. Then it's an easy pull down, and you can just use a little bit of body weight to make that nice and snug. I see this on a lot of vehicles going down the highway. They've tied the canoe to the rack, but they haven't tried, tied it to the front and back. The problem with that is racks are designed to support loads. They're not designed to uh, counteract lift caused by loads. So every year there's a couple of racks that come off vehicles because a canoe or a kayak has been strapped down to it, but hasn't been tied off at the front end. So that's what I'm going to do next. A lot of vehicles it can be a challenge to find places to tie down the canoe to the front of the vehicle we're finding on a lot of vehicles they don't have they don't have spots underneath the car to tie down to instead we're tying down to a hood loop 
which we've got a rope it, hood loop installed on this vehicle but we also sell nylon webbing hood loops at the store personally I like to use a prusik knot to tie the rope to the uh, handle of the canoe and that's holding both ends of the rope so they do not slide on the handle. I'm using a trucker's hitch. I won't do that in slow motion. We do have a, a blog on, on the knots, the trucker's hitch, the bowl in, and other knots we're using to tie down. So you can refer to our blog. And just finish up with a couple of half hitches. And I'm not trying to go super tight at the front. It'll probably tighten up once I tie the other one. It's just to prevent it from lifting off the vehicle and help prevent a little slip, side to side slip when you're passing that truck on the highway. So get a trucker's hitch, followed by a couple of half inches. And we can do the same thing at the back of the vehicle as well. We'll see what we have to tie down to there. What do we have to tie down to here? Perfect. There's a ring or a steel loop in the bottom of this vehicle. So I should just be able to tie a bowl in to the handle of the canoe. the loop and that's a short rope it's a little more awkward but let's try a trucker's hitch in here hitches and then you've got it nice and secure that's what we do to strap down a boat to your vehicle if you renting a boat that's how we strap down boats to customer vehicles or buy, buying new canoes and that's how we recommend other people strap down to their vehicles for their own canoes if you don't have a roof rack there are other options we do sell foam blocks that we go on the canoe gunnel roughly close to the rear of the vehicle's uh, roof and close to the front on both sides. Places directly on the roof of the vehicle and then we strap through the doors with a nylon with a nylon cap buckle straps. Obviously a roof rack is your best option. It's much more secure than just going with canoe straps. That's all I have to say today about uh, strapping down a canoe. If you have any questions come on by Ebbs. I'll be happy to answer them and also check out our blog on the knots you need to use to tie down a canoe. Over and out.